Editor's note, often kept secret until retroactive reckonings occur like the ones going on now with Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Justice League, on set bullying and drama that was once the calling card of some power players as something the powerless suffered in silence. Gary Foster, a second-generation film producer who followed his late father David Foster into the movie business, makes an argument that many of those abuses are eminently preventable. Foster, president, partner at Krasnoff Foster Productions, has been at it 40 years with credits that include Denial, Sleepless in Seattle, The Score, Ghost Rider, Tin Cup and Short Circuit. Here, he proposes a new multi-step program he believes will institutionalize reform, and he lays out a case that nicer can actually be more efficient, in addition to leading to fewer bruised feelings and future social media posts. Time to lead and commit to humanity code my dad always used to tell me, be nice to people on your way up, because people like to kick those who bully them when they are on their way down. We've all heard some version of this advice. He wasn't really telling me to be nice. He was warning me about the bullying, kicking and knocking down that everyone in this industry has experienced. I've learned a few things as I have made my way, most importantly, to be kind and treat all humans on set with respect. It's simply not true that you have to be a jerk, asshole, to get ahead. People who treat others badly always pay a price for it, one way or another, on the way up or on the way down, out of their pockets or out of someone else's. Yet, treating people well has not hampered my career at all. In fact, on every set, I've been able to get people to perform above and beyond because everyone I've ever worked with actually wants to do a great job, at least until someone starts kicking them. When the film Short Circuit was greenlit in 1985, I was given my first producing role, suddenly in charge of hundreds of cast and crew members. As with any production, issues arose, including interpersonal conflicts, inappropriate behavior, and problems around unaddressed unconscious or conscious biases. I had no warning that the role I would be stepping into went beyond making the film, but in fact, I discovered that, along with filmmaking, I was also stepping into a much more critical position, charged with responsibility for the crew, cast members and their well-being. I had never taken a class in people management, conflict resolution, nor had I or most producers on set been trained on how to be a de facto HR executive, which it turned out is a significant part of the job. I had controlled a script that someone wanted to finance. Those were my credentials. I was qualified for the job of associate producer, not associate leader. My experiences on sets since Short Circuit, and stories relayed to me from so many of my colleagues, sadly reveal that not enough has changed in our industry.